subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. Title, Getting Started with Python.net and WPF, a step-by-step -step tutorial with code examples. Introduction Python.net allows Python developers to seamlessly integrate with the .NET framework, opening up possibilities for building Windows Presentation Foundation WPF, applications. This tutorial will guide you through the process of setting up Python.net, creating a simple WPF application, and showcasing basic functionality using code examples. Prerequisites Step 1, Install Python.net Step 2, Create a new WPF project in Visual Studio Step 3, Set up Python.net in the WPF project Step 4, Design the WPF user interface Step 5, Write Python.net code in c -sharp to execute Python script Step 6, Build and Run Congratulations! You've successfully created a Python.net WPF application. This tutorial serves as a starting point for integrating Python functionality into your .NET applications using Python.NET and WPF. ChatGPT Python.NET is a package that allows you to integrate Python with the .NET Common Language Runtime CLR. This integration opens up the possibility of using Python to develop applications that leverage the rich functionalities of the .NET framework, including Windows Presentation Foundation WPF, for building desktop applications. In this tutorial, we'll explore how to use Python.NET with WPF to create a simple desktop application. Before we begin, ensure you have the following installed. You can install the Pythonit package using pip. Let's create a simple WPF application using python.net. We'll create a window with a button that displays a message when clicked. First, create a XAML file, mainwindow.xml, to define the user interface of our application. This XAML file defines a simple window with a button. Next, Create a Python script, app.py, to interact with the WPF application. This script defines a main window class that inherits from window and sets up the window properties. It also defines a button underscore click method which will be called when the button is clicked, displaying a message box. To run the application, execute the Python script, app.py. This will launch the WPF window. Clicking the button should display the message box with the greeting. In this tutorial, you've learned how to integrate Python with WPF using Python.net. This integration allows you to leverage the power of the .NET framework for building desktop applications while using Python for scripting and logic. Explore further by adding more features to your WPF application or integrating other .NET functionalities into your Python projects. Happy coding! ChatGPT Creating a Python.NET WPF application, a step-by-step -step tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll explore how to create a Windows Presentation Foundation WPF application using Python and the Python.NET library. WPF is a powerful framework for building Windows desktop applications with a rich user interface, and Python.NET allows us to seamlessly integrate Python code into .NET applications. Prerequisites Open the main window.xml file and modify the XAML code to create a simple UI. Replace the existing XAML code with the following. Open the main window.xml.cs file and modify the code behind to handle the button click event. Add the following using directive at the top. Replace the existing main window class with the following. Create a new Python file, example python underscore code.py, 
in your project and add your Python code. For example, in Visual Studio, right click on the Python file, python underscore code.py, in Solution Explorer and set the copy to output directory property to copy if newer. Build and run your WPF application. Click the Run Python Code button, and you should see the output displayed in the output text box. Congratulations! You have successfully created a Python.NET WPF application. Customize the UI and Python code according to your project requirements. ChatGPT Creating a tutorial for Python.NET with WPF, Windows Presentation Foundation, involves integrating Python code with the .NET framework to build a graphical user interface using XAML. Below is a step-by-step -step guide along with code examples. Open Visual Studio and create a new WPF app, .NET Core or .NET Framework, project. Name it Python WPF app. In the Solution Explorer, right-click on your project and select Manage New Get Packages. Search for Python it and install the latest version. Replace the content of main window.xaml with the following XAML code. Replace the content of main window.xaml.cs with the following C# -sharp code. Create a Python script in the project directory or a specified path. Here's a simple example. Build and run the WPF application. Click the Run Python Script button, and you should see the output from the Python script in the text box. This tutorial provides a basic setup for integrating Python with WPF using Python.net. You can extend this example by adding more complex interactions and functionalities in both the C-sharp and Python parts of your application. ChatGPT Sure, let's create a tutorial on using Python with .NET and WPF, Windows Presentation Foundation. In this tutorial, we'll walk through the steps of setting up a basic WPF application using Python.NET. Python.NET allows you to use .NET libraries from Python and provides a bridge between the Python and .NET worlds. Python installed. Make sure you have Python installed on your system. You can download it from python.org. Python.NET installation. Install the Pythonet package using pip. Visual Studio. Install Visual Studio or Visual Studio code for a better development experience. Open Visual Studio and create a new WPF app, .NET Core, project. Name it as you like. For example, let's call it Python WPF app. Open main window.xaml and design your WPF window. For simplicity, let's create a window with a button and a label. Open main window.xaml.cs and handle the button click event. We'll use python.net to execute python code when the button is clicked. Create a python file, for example, script.py, with the following content. Modify the button click event to execute python code from script.py. Run your WPF application. When you click the button, the Python code from script.py will be executed, and the result will be displayed in the WPF label. Congratulations! You've created a WPF application in c -sharp that interacts with Python code using Python.net. This example is basic, but it demonstrates the integration between c -sharp and Python within a WPF application. ChatGPT